is no. Dear me. <coughs> I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait then. You're not one of them. Well, what a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I am Alvas and Alvinoric, as you can see. We're finished. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the Cursemonger's hands. And if you should meet the young Albinoric Latena, then please give it to her. A chosen land awaits us, Albinorix. The medallion is the key that leads to the city. It's only a quaint treasure for we who cannot make the journey. But for dear Latena, it is needed to fulfill her purpose. My legs will soon fade, and with them my life. Alas, this is the immovable fate of all Albinorix. Journey to the capital. The two things. You may be our... Oh. you got rather ahead of himself, it seems. As his master, I'd like to express my regret. But now, Ensha is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. Ah, yes. By way of apology, allow me to tender some advice in regard to the half of the secret medallion you possess. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I'm sure. Fell tarnished. What do you want? I told the all hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Oh. Do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. 
then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena, an Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute, I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallions of the half. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the Forbidden Lands, north of the Erd Tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountaintops of the Giants, accessible by the Grand Lift of Rold. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the Tarnished, so that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. Do you hear me? It is I, Latena. We're almost there. Castle Sol lies just off to the north, where the other medallion is housed. Do you hear me? It is I, Latena. We have reached the land of Mikla's Halig Tree, where Lobo and I began our travels. It's entirely thanks to you that I'm so close to home. These great snow laden mountains stretch far to the north, and beyond the ancient bowers, in the liturgical town of Ordna, lies the place to which I must return. sister of ours. Let the birthing droplet in and create life for us, for all the Albanorix. Thank you. I finally fulfilled my purpose. Our young yet towering sister will give us hope. 
Now that nothing is left unfinished, I will join you in battle to the bitter end. And when the fighting is done, then you may lay me to rest. Beside Lobo, my dear wolf. <laughs>